and welcome to another video. I thought I would record because I had a pretty good flow this day and I thought why not try to do like a small challenge and see how much I can get done during 24 hours and Tefat is also coming in helping out. I'm starting with cutting out this crop top. I'm going to do a two-piece set for my sister. So it's going to be like a crop top. I mean, it's not super crop, but a little bit. And then uh, a pair of shorts in this um, bright pink fabric that I had left over. And I'm using my overlock. Um, you can also use a stretch stitch or some kind of zigzag on your normal machine if you don't have access to a roll lock. This one can make a cover stitch too or like a flat lock it's also called which is extremely handy when you're doing things with stretch material. Here I'm also attaching a mock neck um, in the neck hall. So use this double folded stretchy like a um, ripped fabric I don't know if it's just me but when I'm into sewing like I have a hard time stopping like I don't go eat <laughs> I don't go to the toilet uh, because I'm so in the flow um, but it's not good, like I yeah, should, should eat something uh, to get some energy, but it's really easy to just keep on going. It's very exciting when you're able to finish something or make progress. And I just want to keep going. And yeah, this was one of those days. And also there have been a lot of these challenges around with the 24 hours, like how much you can knit or crochet or something. So I thought I just play on that. Um, and then we're moving on to the next phase, which is ironing up the edges so we can do a finishing of the bottom and the um, armholes. And I'm just measuring so I make sure it's even everywhere. I usually do two centimeters in the bottom and around one centimeter in the armhole. And I'm pinning on the opposite side because that is, I'm gonna have the right side up when I'm stitching this uh, flat lock stitch. So just make it easier for myself to have the pins on the right side from the beginning. And I'm doing the same here with the armholes, just one centimeter instead. I usually do this by eye because it's easy um, and just make it sure it looks more or less even. Then I move over to my machine again and I've changed it to a flat lock stitch um, and I'm just running it from the, the right side of the fabric. Uh, this finishing looks really nice, I really recommend this machine that it can do both. Here you can see what it looks like and I'm also finishing off the, the armholes. Then when I'm done, I'm just pressing all the seams so they lay a little bit more flat and they're not as bumpy. Uh, I would say it's a really good practice in general when you make clothing to, to go over and press all the seams um, when you're done. It just makes it look more put together. Now I'm doing matching shorts. 
this and I'm doing uh, a pattern that I after myself that doesn't have a side seam. It works very good with stretch fabrics and a lot of leggings too doesn't have uh, a side seam. And also like I didn't really know the sizing so I left a lot of fabric that was extra so I could do like a try on before I decided how big it was going to be. I did also an oversized mesh t-shirt. Here I am doing a small trick that you can do when you want to put in lining into things with sleeves. So you just pin it the way you want it to look from the outside and then you grab it from inside like a hole in the lining and then you just pull everything through. And then you can just reattach the pins or if you have clamps but like on the right side so you have it on the seam allowance and then you stitch all the way around and it will not be twisted or anything and it's super easy uh, to make and make it look good so it's just a small trick this is just an alteration I'm doing to a jacket that had sleeves that were way too long and also too narrow at the wrist so I'm just cutting them off and making them a little bit shorter so it's more wearable Here you can see how it looks. It looks pretty nice. And now to the reveal. 